Our basic human rights as human beings are being held in contempt or ignored by those with power over us. Some governments are breaking international laws that were designed to protect us. Others are breaching their own legal statutes, claiming it's for our own safety or simply to stay in control. Human rights is not a nice to add accessory. It's a necessity, it's a precondition for modern society. What we are seeing in the world is a truly alarming situation. The system that the international community had put together over 70 years to protect the human rights, the basic rights of some of the most vulnerable people in the world is at risk. If you're a refugee, you have a legal right to be offered safety. Yet tens of thousands are being pushed back at borders. Thirty or more countries illegally forced refugees to return to places where they would be in danger. And this is what they're fleeing from. If you're Saudi Arabian, you cannot enjoy freedom of speech. You can be flogged simply for writing a blog critical of the government. If you're Russian and are in any way seen as opposing the government, you face harassment, jail or could be assassinated. If you're American or British, you will be subject to mass surveillance by the state you can have your calls eavesdropped on or your emails read. If you are Thai, you can be arrested for staging plays or posting comments on Facebook that the military authorities don't like. If Nigerian, you can be arrested and detained without trial, merely on the word of a pointer claiming you to be a sympathiser of Boko Haram. If Mexican, you can simply disappear and be killed for opposing the government, like the 43 students from Ayotzinapa. Governments have also attacked or neglected those institutions which are there to protect people's rights. Uh, take the Security Council. The Security Council is totally focused on playing politics rather than protecting the lives of the most vulnerable people. Saudi Arabia and its coalition partners, including the USA and the UK, blocked the UN from carrying out an investigation into war crimes committed by Saudi-led forces in Yemen. This was despite compelling evidence of civilians being targeted, including the bombing of schools. <laughs> The International Criminal Court is now in session. The International Criminal Court is being undermined by governments trying to escape international justice. The African Union institutions, which the African countries helped us to create the International Criminal Court, now they're threatening to withdraw from it. So all the major protection systems and institutions are under serious threat right now. And in 2015, those trying to protect our rights and stand up to governments were harassed, detained or even killed. 156 human rights defenders are known to have died. Governments should stop attacking human rights. Defenders of human rights, institutions, laws, policies and governments can make this happen. It's not for governments to tell somebody else. They can stop this, they have to stop it today. Thank you.